Thanks for coming to J.C. Whitney today to visit us at our annual 2018 car show. We're pleased to have U.S. Classic Muscle Cars here to do filming for us. Anytime you need or have a want for car parts, come and visit us at jcwhitney.com. Welcome to the 2018 J.C. Whitney Car Show and please stay tuned for our next YouTube video by U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gather around. It is time for the awards. Going to wait a couple of minutes to get everybody up here, but we are ready for the awards ceremony. Now, just to kind of lead off on this, I know that today was not the best day in the world for you folks to come out here. And on behalf of J.C. Whitney and U.S. Auto and everybody involved here, I personally want to thank you for coming out here on a questionable day. I saw number 410 as an entry number. Now there may have been some pre entries that did not show up, but we're somewhere in the 400 car range, which quite frankly is a whole lot better than I thought we were gonna have at seven o'clock this morning. Now with that being said, we're gonna give away a lot of awards here. And it, you don't have to be present to win. If for some reason or other you had to leave early, and you don't have anybody here to accept, you can come back to J.C. Whitney or call them on the phone later in the week and they'll keep your trophy for you. And with that, we're going to begin with Class A, which is Original Restored, 1932 and earlier. I'm going to give away three awards. Third place award. Going back to Sheridan, Illinois, entry number 61, Walter and Karen Seawan, 1931 Ford Model A. That's the third place award. Okay, second place award. Now, I know they're here. Okay, second place award goes to John Kehoe. John Kehoe, right there. John and Becky, where are you at? John dresses in period correct clothing. Big hit every place he goes. If we had a nice guy award, he'd probably win it. John Kehoe. Congratulations. Okay, first place in the Class A Original Restored Pre-1932 goes to Steve Freeman. Out of Winnebago, Illinois, 1931 Ford Model A. Last one of the Model A's, 1931, Steve Freeman. Congratulations, Steve. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Okay, moving on to Class C. Now, I jumped over a class there, and there's a reason. Class B, we had some confusion, but it turns out there was no entries in Class B. I guess they stayed home for the rain. Class C is original restored 1949 to 1958. I'm going to give away four awards in this category. A third place award to Mike and Kristen Starts out of Joliet with the 1955 Chevrolet Townsman Wagons down here. Four-door 55 Chevrolet Wagon. And here she comes. And I think the little one's going to get here first. <laughs> That's so cute, I'm going to wait for her. Oh, yeah. They're running. Oh, they are running. Uh, what do you think of that, folks? They did great. Come around of applause for that trophy. Huh? Congratulations. There we go. Second place award. Goes to entry number 324, David Frazier out of Sandwich, Illinois, with a 1957 Chevrolet 210. David Frazier. It's a black and silver car. Now, David is handicapped, and it's going to take him a while to get okay. down here. Yep, we're, we're, we're going to see Mrs. Frazier here. David kind of moves slow, so...
We're glad you came today. And I'm always glad to see you. Oh, thank you. They're, they're friends of mine. Sure. Okay, second place. Going right back to Peru. Richard Kyle. Richard Kyle. 1957 Ford Thunderbird. I believe it's a blue car. Entry number 184. <laughs> He's pretty sure of himself. He's right in the front row. Yes, he is. Congratulations. Oh, they want a picture. Thank yep. me. And first place in original restored, Class C, entry number 363, Larry and Sharon Begway out of Peru with a 1955 Chevrolet 210 now. Congratulations, Larry. C, D, Class D. Okay, moving on to Class D. I'm going to give away five awards in Class D. Third place to Dennis Geither out of Princeton, Illinois, 59 Olds Wagon. I just saw him a few minutes ago. He may have headed for the gate already. Any of you guys from South Peru want to take that for him? Jim Vincent, anybody? If not, we'll see that he gets it. A third place award to Ray Bernard out of Rochelle. Entry number 210, 1967 Pontiac Le Mans. Okay, now I'm going to start on the second place. A second place award to entry number 186, James Jones out of Granville, 69 Camaro Z28. Out of Granville, Illinois, James Jones, 186. You want to get Dennis's trophy? Yeah. Dennis yeah. You're going to take it? Yep. Take it Thank you very much. We were in Granville last week. Yeah. We were. Okay, now second place award to Jay Thirty out of Ottawa. Entry number 337, Jay Thirty, 1964 Corvair Monza. You know, we never hear anything about Ralph Nader anymore, but the Corvairs are still here. I, I, think, I think General Motors won that. I think they did. You don't want to ask me about him. <laughs> She's got your award for you. Okay, first place. First place in original restored 59 to 69 goes to Destiny Kid out of Alpha, Illinois, 1968 El Camino. We're going to be in Alpha for their car show, what, two weeks? Something like that. Next Saturday? Yep. One week. Okay. <laughs> Where am I at? Class E? Class E. Uh, Lorenz, third place? Yep. Okay, here we go. Class E, original restored 1970 to 1979. Third place. Diane Lorenz out of Hennepin, 1979 Pontiac Trans Am, entry number 187. While we're waiting on Diane, I'm going to go to second place. She'll, she'll be here. No, she doesn't run. She's coming. Ah, uh, here we go. I don't blame you. Second place. Back to Varna, Illinois, number 358, Dave Clark, out of Varna with a 1970 Mercury Cyclone. Car's right over here. Man, you talk about rare. That's a rare car. Yes, it is. Congratulations. Rare car, very nicely presented. Silly. Okay, first place, entry number 188, out of LaSalle, Nick LaSalic, Nick LaSalic, 1971 Plymouth Cuda. I looked at this car when it came in, and this rascal is outstanding. Man, I mean, you've got to have a straight car to be black, and that one is straight. Okay, E, F will be next, right? Okay, Class F. Teresa Haga, third place? Yep. Class F, original restart 1980 to 1999. Third place, going down the road to Galva, Illinois, number 229, Teresa Haga, 
1986 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Now she drove in in the rain in a black car. So you know she did her homework. What do you think, Ed? <laughs> Second place, Ottawa, number 392, Michael Murray, 1980, Pontiac Trans Am, Ottawa, Illinois. Congratulations, Michael. <laughs> Congratulations, Michael. And third place. Third place in Clap F, and there's a lot of cars in Clap F. Third place, out of Seneca, entry number 28, Edwin Jenke, 87 Buick Grand National, another black car that came in in the rain. First place, first place. That's first place, Deb. That's first. That's first. That's first. Thank you. I tipped him off. I looked at him ahead of time. He knew. <laughs> So Thank you. Okay, Class G, original restored, 2000 to present. Four awards. A third place award to Ricky Smith, out of our sales, 2010 Dodge Challenger SRT8. Modern Mopar, entry number 41. Them things got like 600 horsepower, man. Unbelievable. Okay, a third place award back to Oglesby. Dave Blair, entry number 299 with a 2011 Chevrolet Camaro. Dave Blair, number 299. Wisconsin. Second place award. Going to take a long ride. Going to Ripon, Wisconsin. Entry number 362, Sandy McDonald, 2018 Challenger, Mopar, Dodge Challenger. And I'll tell you what, they came a long way on a rainy day, didn't they? And the first place, out of Plainfield, and the Plainfield guys are one of the first ones here, actually. Entry number 151, Dwayne Van Duser, out of Plainfield, 2002 Pontiac Trans Am. Class H, yep, class. third place, Duxter. Okay, street rod through 1948, class H. Third place award to entry number 89. It's our NSRA safety inspector, the Duck. Duxter out of Waterman, 1929, Ford delivery. <laughs> Donnie, where are you at? Probably. Here he comes. He We're going to wait for this guy. He's done enough nice things for enough nice people that he's helped out an awful lot of people on the road over the years. I'll wait for him. I will. Congratulations, Duxter. Yeah. Okay, a third place award to Randy Curry out of nearby Morris, entry number 33, for the 1931 Ford Model A Coupe, entry number 33, Randy Curry. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's okay, we screen them for vegetables, they can't get you. Second place award. Second place award goes to Lady Driven, Sue Gorski, out of Rochelle, 1933 Ford Vicky. Black car. It's awful dark, whatever the hell it is, it's awful dark. Congratulations. Why don't you paint it gray like his car, then I'd know what color it was. Thank you. First place. Years now. That's scary. That is scary, isn't it? Okay, second place. I actually have a legitimate tie for second place. The first second place award we're going to give away goes to Ken Argus out of Mendota with a 1963 Chevrolet Impala. Ken Argus, right here. You tied for second place with a Mustang. Million. 
Okay, second place award goes to Steve Milan out of Ashton. Entry number 268 is the 1965 Mustang. You and him actually tied with each other with 26 volts apiece. Wow. Me and the one. <laughs> huh? The, uh, the Chevy Impala? Yeah. We'll probably see both of these guys at the Ashton Car Show this year. First place goes to Edward Johnson out of Peoria, 1962 Impala, entry number 217. Okay. Here he comes. J K. Hey man. Right there. Okay, going to class K. Street machine 66 to 69. Third place. Entry number 385. Bob Colfoyd out of Granville with a 1969 Camaro. Man, I'll tell you what, we've had a big participation from Granville here lately. Colfoy? That ain't Col Thanks. <laughs> okay. Okay, second place. Red car out of Manuka, entry number 364. Ron Blaze, Ron Blaze, 1967 Oldsmobile Cutlass 442. Ron Blaze, 442 Cutlass. Now he's picking up his own. He didn't really play. Okay, first place today in the Street Machine class goes to number 139, Terry Tucker out of LaSalle, 1966 Chevelle. Terry Tucker. Now he's curious about where to park this morning. Terry, you parked in the right place. Okay, Street Machine, 70 to 79, three awards. Third place going back to Shabanaw, Illinois, up on Route 30. It's entry number 273, Bud 4, Bud 4, 1970 Nova, red car. Second place, and this is kind of special, Junior Garcia out of Kiwani, entry number 56, 1973 Chevrolet Vega. Congratulations, buddy. Junior's been real sick for a long time, and we're certainly glad to see him up on his feet and with us today. First place, also going down around the Kiwani area, Chris and Kathy Gomes out of Lafayette, Illinois, 1971 Chevelle, number 227, black car. Damn. The box the whole time. It's a cherry. Okay, moving on to Street Machines 80 to 99. Third place, entry number 170, Aaron Clausen out of Marseilles with a 1992 Chevy Camaro. Congratulations. Anyone want to guess on how to pronounce this? <laughs> Second place, entry number 340. Chris Jacaric out of Marseilles, 86 Chevrolet Z28 Camaro. There you go. And first place in the Street Machine Division. Just let me check up there, and I had to get interpreted from the people that counted the ballots. Okay, first place in class, entry number 339, Bob and Debbie Scott, Ottawa, 1984 Camaro, right here. There it is, right there. That's fine, I believe you. I, I can take we had to check it. It was correct. Street Machines, 2000 to present. Three awards. Third place to Eric Guerrero, Ottawa, 
2010 Cadillac CTS. I think the car was way over there, if I remember right. Stegall, we'll see that he gets it. He can call in and, and recover his trophy anytime next week. Second place out of Rapid City, Illinois, which is the Quad Cities, the Glenn family. Entry number 15, 2011 Chevrolet Camaro SS, Synergy Green Car. Yes, I did. Dana will accept. Congratulations, Dana. Dana was by one vote. Yeah. Okay, first place. Entry number 266, Mark Bryan, 2012 Mustang GT, right here in Peru, Illinois. One vote. I normally don't tell this, but I'm going to because I know both of these people. You and him were one vote apart. Yeah. Can you hear that? Yes. <laughs> one vote. Okay, Class O, Trucks, original two-wheel drive, third place. Entry number 42. It is David Artvin with a 1954 Chevrolet 3100 pickup truck. Second place in the truck division, Don Adcock out of Abington, Illinois with the Conquista El Camino. Nice original car. Want to pronounce the next one for me? Nope. I can do her. Okay. There's one. Don, congratulations. Okay, first place in the truck's original division. Entry number 130, Chuck Mercinius, out of Sheridan, Illinois, or Norway, if you will. 1946 Chevrolet three-quarter ton pickup truck. He runs the general store in Norway. He's here somewhere. I'm the only guy in the world that can pronounce his name. And that was because of Kenny. He had to interpret it for me. Okay, while we're waiting for Chuck, we're going to move to the next class, which is Class P, Trucks Modified Two-Wheel Drive, four awards. A third place award back to Belvedere, Jim and Ellen Cruz, entry number 212 with a 1955 Chevrolet pickup truck. Okay, while we're waiting for Jim and Ellen and Chuck, okay, here's Chuck. Hey, Chuck. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We got to take our. Okay, this is Jim. Get our picture? Jim will get a third place. Jim is standing right over there. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> now we're right again. A third place award to entry number 223. Dan Clennon out of Manuka, 1987 El Camino. About the last year of them, if I remember right. Yes, thank you very much. Car. Second place in the modified two-wheel drive division goes to entry number 84, John Carr out of Seneca with a 1934 Dodge Half Ton. John Carr. There you go. As you're going to pick it up, that's all I worry about. Does he need to come up? Or? No, you can, you can take it back to him. Yeah, he's too can. far of a walk. First place. First place goes to Steve Peterson, Washington, Illinois, entry number 338 for the 1967 Chevrolet C10. For you folks that may not know, Washington is actually Peoria area. Class Q? Yep. Three awards? Yep. Class Q, Trucks Original 4x4. Third place, entry number 199, Mike Garrison, 2013 Ram. Right here. Bet that's got a hammy in it. 
Second place award to number 280 out of Streeter. Richard Lamengo with the 1979 W200 red in color. Power wagon. Oh, he's right behind us. Is he? One more in the Trucks Original Division. Entry number 114 will win first place. Brought to us today by Tom Durbin out of Roanoke, 1975 Ford pickup truck. There you go. Trucks 4x4 four four modified, third place. Back to the city, Palos Hills, entry number 110, James Stacy, 2015 Silverado 3500, James Stacy. Second place award, entry number 323, Bill Anafield out of Ottawa with a 1987 Silverado. It is entry number 323. Okay, still waiting for second place, which is Bill in the field. Got him. Now, first place. Entry number 320. Out of Dixon, Illinois, Jerry Conkling, 1956 Studebaker, 4x4. Lives right down the street from me. Nice guy. Okay, Corvettes, 53 to 67. I'm giving a first place trophy away. There was one entry in that class. It goes to Tom Alford out of Sycamore with a 1966 Corvette. I believe it's red. Okay. Corvette, 68 to 82, two awards. Second place award to Carney Lipke out of Monticello, Wisconsin, with a 1976 Corvette Stingray, entry number 161. First place award, going to Streeter, entry number 388, Rich Holloway, 1981 Corvette, Rich Holloway. Okay, moving on, Corvettes 84 to present, three awards. Third place, two. Matt Wagaman, entry number 205 is a 1990 Corvette, Matt Wagaman. Second place in the late model Corvette division goes to Don Olson, number 398, 2017 C7 Corvette, out of Peru. Okay, while he's on his way over here, first place goes to Don Strohecker, out of Malta, with a C7 Corvette, entry number 24. Okay, motorcycles, Class V, three awards. Third place award to Bob Pfeiffer. Bob Pfeiffer out of DeKalb with the 2007 Harley Davidson. You know, it was raining when we came in this morning. As a result of that, we didn't get a lot of motorcycles today. Second place award goes to Laurie and Bob Schaefer. Entry number 219 out of Illinois City. Crazy Bob, he's known as. He actually graduated to motorcycles from sand rails and dune buggies. None of which are safe. 
First place goes to Carl Mason out of Joliet with his 2015 Indian Roadmaster. Outstanding motorcycle. The wind is killing me here. Have I got a third place on the next class? No, you only got two. Only got two. Okay, good. I won't fight it then. Okay, class W, motorcycles modified. This worked out. This, this car originally got scrambled up in registration. We had a tough time getting it squared away, but we did. Entry number 180, Jim Reno, out of Granville, Illinois, 1937 Ford two-door coupe. Somehow or another, pre-registration, way back when, whenever he mailed it in, thought he had an original car. And his is a long ways from original, believe me. I actually was here last Saturday and I did it in person. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, moving on to Street Machines, 49 to 59, four awards. A third place award for 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air, number 406, Stick Hel Steve Halibab out of McNabb, Illinois. Halibab. Well, it was well, it was, cl it, it was close. Yeah, how close were we? Back in the show, sir. How you close were we? Yeah, how close was the last name? Sec no, he's out there. He's almost as short as I am, so you can't see him in the crowd. Just don't mow the grass while he's out there. He just put fuel injection on that hearse. He says it really made a neat ride out of it. He says it really did, so... That's cool. Okay, second place goes to Ronald Thiers out of Cold City with a 1957 golf cart right there. This is Mr. Gorski. He's third. This is Mr. Thiers. He's second. I have yours. I have yours. I have yours. Oh, okay. yeah. Really? Okay, in first place, entry number 87, Ed Maley out of Magnolia with the 1953 Austin. And this thing is neat. He made a pro street out of it. He did a neat job. Is the car still here, I wonder? Okay. Here he comes, right here. Okay, now we're moving on to the mini truck division. Three awards. First place, third place, excuse me, third place goes to Charles Tiemann out of Spring Valley with a 1965 Falcon delivery. Charles, where you at? I'm thinking he pre-registered and brought something else. Okay, we'll see that he gets that. He's got Dennis Geithner's trophy wherever he's at. Second place goes to Lindell Clark out of Samanac. HHR 2006 Chevrolet HHR. It was raining when he came in. Yes, it was. I was standing out there. And the first place in class goes entry number 225, Morris Rosebeck. Morris Rosebeck, Kiwani, 1986 S10. Congratulations, Morris. Okay, Volkswagen division. Third place to Lee Sexton out of Chanahan. Entry number 215 with the 2010 Volkswagen Beetle. Second place award goes to Leonard Abel out of Hinkley with the 1970 Bradley GT, which is actually a Volkswagen running gear. And the first place goes to Billy Arnold out of Streeter, entry number 360 with a 1962 Volkswagen two-door. Jeeps. Okay, Jeeps. Man, I tell you, we got a lot of them. And the Windy City Jeep people are the best, man. I'm telling you, they are. Thank them for coming out. I tell you, weather will not slow down these guys. They like mud and rain and rocks and all kinds of stuff. 
Okay, four awards. Third place award, entry number 285, Edgar Nuez out of Dyer, Indiana. 2015 Wrangler. A third place also, entry number 305, Jeff Rasmussen, Joliet, 2017 Wrangler Sport, Jeff Rasmussen. Miserly. Second place award, entry number 322, John Miserly, out of Morris, CJG, 2004 CJ. Okay, this will be Mr. Jackson. Okay, first place in the Rat Rod Division, out of the Quad Cities, entry number 263, Alexis Loading, 1965 AMC Jeep. Okay. Okay, here's the best of show trophy. Best of show traditionally goes to the highest vote getter here. And just before I announce this, there's a hundred bucks goes with it. Just before I announce this, for all these years we've been doing this, this guy right here, Toby Ristow, has been the driving force behind this. The company has finally realized it and they've kicked him up the ladder instead of out the door. He'll be moving up, he'll have a lot more responsibility and a lot, a lot more serious duties here. I don't know if we're going to be able to have him back with us next year, but the show will go on. We sincerely hope that he'll stay with us all these years. Tony Ristow, organizer and all around good guy, ladies and gentlemen. Now the best to show, top vote getter today, entry number 250, Craig and Beth Newquist, Kelowna, Illinois, 1985 Pontiac Trans Am, blue car, pro street, blower through the hood. On behalf of U.S. Auto, J.C. Whitney, and all of our good sponsors, thank you all for coming out here today. We'll see you next week down in Alpha. If we don't see you someplace else, God bless you all. Please drive carefully. Good blood Saturday. Ah, tried to throw me, tried to throw me a flip. I don't know what happened there, Anna. Oh, okay. Oh, okay.